being here, sitting here at this place, I feel like I am part of a fixture of this whole establishment. You would go to a flea market and you would see a fat guy sitting on a bench and it would be perfectly in line with the ambiance of the rest of the place. That's how I feel right now. I love these kind of nachos. We used to have swim meets and they would have those kind of nachos there all the time. Which is actually like in retrospect not very healthy at all for a sports event, but... True, but you always hear about how Michael Phelps, you know, eats three live babies a day or whatever. So they got kind of, kind of like an indoor diner area. But then there's also concession all around the perimeter. If you thought that there were a lot of toys, games, and movies outdoors... Well, everything outdoors was pretty flat. In here, it goes up. Just the fact that there is some shelving. Yes. There are basically mini stores. I think some of these guys indoors have permanent stations. For the Box Mac fans, they do have Craft Food Service Mac at that place. There's so much fun to be had for a dollar, for a dollar admission. It's kind of incredible. And do you think that they own the property and the land? Oh, I think they, they definitely do. So right? then it's all just profit. It's all in the black. Conceivably. Because even for the low cost, I mean, there's thousands of tiny transactions, thousands of, of money exchanging hands yep. all, all day long. Just think. No sales tax anywhere here. How do they get away with that? There's no tax at all? Everything's no, under the table? There's, um, there's um, a flea market yard sale exclusion law about collecting taxes. Really? It's supposed to be only if you make under a certain amount of, of money at the yard sale. These people probably don't, but who's going to call them on it, right? Like a normal retail place, they can have a tax inspector come in and you have to have a certificate to collect sales tax. The permanent food establishments probably do, but they probably just factor it into the cost of $1.35 so it has the tax already worked out. Yeah, but food, food is untaxed. Uh, prepared food is taxed in Massachusetts. I love these uh, jukeboxes. $600. I know they were way more than that originally. I love the traffic light. Oh, it's so cool. Remember, there's one in our elementary school. It was supposedly detected the noise level of the cafeteria, yeah, but it right. didn't. <laughs> there was somebody behind there That's right. changing it to red and yellow. I have a pretty big collection. I didn't uh, know that. Mostly was assembled before I even knew you. Did the collection start off with a, a gift from like a grandfather or something? Yes. My father is also a big collector of coins, and he gave me a bunch a long time ago. They have some 77 and 80 Return of the Jedi and Empire. That's cool. It's a case of dinner checks, diner checks, for a restaurant for 10 bucks. That's actually a great price for that. Look at that rad Star Wars Unleashed figure. It's Luke making a big motion blur with his lightsaber. The last time I was here, it was around Christmas time. Yeah. Walking through here on a chilly day, light Christmas music playing. <laughs> it is a good time. Oh, they have a whole fudge thing over there. Fudge! Hot salted nuts, too. It's all pretty delicious by my account. Look at those. Those look so good. I actually did have one of these Reese's ones last time. It looks a little too heavy for me. Whoa, picture pops. What the hell is this? That? I think it's... It... I think it's C3PO. I think it's C3PO. Candies of yesteryears. My aunt used to play accordion. Come here, pick up a ukulele and a VCR. This is what I meant by like, like there are kind of like boutique stores. This is the, probably the best one actually. Mm. Nintendo signage. Oh, I would like something like that. To indicate that there's Nintendo here. Um, okay, here's the thing. There's always copious amounts of N64 sports games because they're very low value. Three for five. So that's about the best price I've seen for SNES. what we call junk SNES. The ones no one really wants. Awesome selection of, of in-case uh, Genesis. That's what I liked about Genesis, they came with those little like blockbuster video cases. I totally have this somewhere in my home. Oh, I did too. Was that the... the... I think maybe from McDonald's? It was something like McDonald's or Burger King. And I think this was part of the same family of toys, I think. I never had him. Look at that very early Mario pinball thing. I don't think the animated series was out yet. And even when the animated series did come out, they made him like a Brooklyn accent. Right. Now he's like the Italian plumber, right. but. I prefer the Brooklyn, the Lou Albano. And if you do drugs, you go to hell before you die. Ocarina of Time in case. I think I have that. I kept like all of my boxes. That's awesome. I would actually buy one of these. I might get a, a Zelda. Or a Mario 3, perhaps? I love the Mario 3 one. I'm getting a copy of Super Solitaire. Is that something that's not in your collection? Uh, no, it is, but it's a very rare game. They only made about 2,000 copies of this particular Super Nintendo game. It's not a, a particularly amazing game or anything. It's just a very, a very uncommon game. There's two games that if I ever see them, I always buy. Because I like owning a certain percentage of all of the copies. I have four of these. There's another one called Fun and Games that I have six of, and it's six out of 1,500. Perler. Perler beads is what Perler beads, yeah. yeah. For, for this sale, I would have 
to take cash because okay, I nope. have to just give this to that's, the customer. That's no problem. That's the NES 2 or the second version. They're easy to mod for RGB. EJ, I want to point out, you're a huge fan of... Uh, Zelda 2 Adventures of Link. Adventures of Link. They've got one of these guys for, for that particular Link. Uh, they're so cool. Aren't they great? And it was 15 bucks for these two. Those are really awesome. Copy of Super Solitaire. What the f*** is this? Really 2,000 copies of Super Solitaire ever made. And what'd you pay? Uh, eight bucks. Do they know about the 2000 limit? Oh, again, it's not a great game. <laughs> a lot of the most rare and expensive games aren't necessarily good. That's right. Super happy about Do you about have any uh, PlayStation 3 remotes? No, I do not. Okay, The Thank saga you. continues. <laughs> Leather Lane. Okay. Leather Lane. I have him, but I love him. He's cool. Uh, of course, you can't take it apart. The, the idea is it's just a static figure. The original radio drama of The Empire Strikes Back. Is this Voltron? I mean, that is pretty Power Rangers-y. Or maybe Power Rangers is very Voltron-y. Very classic Looney Tunes comics. Wow. Originally 25 cents. I don't know what they would go for now. Five bucks. Still pretty reasonable. So if, you have a, if you're looking for a collection of this sort of thing, if eBay is the flea market of the world. The problem with eBay, it's the hassle of actually shipping it out if, if they don't like it, the returns, plus the fees you gotta pay to eBay. There's an eBay community of sellers. Yeah. And they know what things are worth. Yeah. And none of them sell for less. That's right. eBay ends up becoming kind of like a retail. Yeah. Before, like, everyone was into marble. The Bionic Woman jigsaw puzzle. Behind us is the largest DVD and Blu-ray sale that they have in the whole market. There's a pretty serious amount and they're pretty great prices, pretty good quality, but I don't think they're well organized. Right now, DVD has no value. <laughs> Wait until they don't release a lot of these again on Blu-ray. Exactly. There's a collector's item. Hey, hey, I'm a Cosby kid. $85. Princess Leia uh, in Bounty Hunter gear, in Boosh disguise for 60 bucks. Whoa, $95 for the Cantina Band. We got a lot of Chilton's books for car repair. Those generic books that tell you how to repair your miscellaneous car when cars were still simple enough to repair by yourself. Maverick Comet, 1970 to 77. Is it taping? Yes. Why? Because we're just browsing around for a lot of auto books. This must be the whole this whole area's deal, and it probably gets pretty good business. And if you needed to, to buy one of those books, I've looked on eBay for like my catalog ones. It was a hundred bucks for the set of the two books. And even if you try to Google that information, it's you not, can't find it's it. It's not easy to no. find. I, I just love the Blu-ray and DVD sales. You just see anything you like? No. There's box sets behind there. I haven't really looked at those, but I probably own all the ones I would want. If you think of something you want, you usually buy it. On you run eBay. out and you buy it, unless you're broke. And then you don't get nice things. Craigie lays out the reality of economics. We got a pets department. Live animals uh, right up ahead. When you were young, did your parents ever take you to like misc fairs, like pop-up fairs? I don't think so. One of the things I always wanted that my parents would never let me own was a hermit crab. You could buy them for like three bucks. I understand why, it's actually kind of cool. You can't actually take care of them, but the ones they sell at fairs were not gonna live. Imagine being the Batman of hermit crabs. Oh, and look, they of course have the minion. That's a handsome looking lizard. It's hard for me to have a strong sense for whether or not these are good deals. I mean, they don't seem to be. Nine dollars for one of these things. Maybe they're rare, I don't know. I don't know anything. Is it tin, is that the reason? Because the tin itself is expensive. There's like retro games hiding out in a lot of these. Mm, Just yeah. kind of stacked. Pile. I've seen lots of little piles of coins, for example. All yeah. kinds of stuff. I like old cameras. This whole shelf is like of interest. Uh, Atari 5200 cartridge. Strange format, not very popular. That was right around the time the NES came out, actually. This is hysterical. It has nothing to do with Marvel at all. But they're aware of the fact that you might think it's Marvel, so they're calling it the original Avengers, which is probably not in violation of any copyright. It's meant to with your brain. I, I like that still from Adam's family. This is a flip plano clock. Non-digital, it just analog advances. Very nice. That's the kind of clock I had when I was a child, right by my bed. Some people like wooden ducks. Some people like miscellaneous jewels meters. I kind of do. Oh, the classic telephone. First one I've seen here. This place is closed today. <laughs> Meaning they must have a permanent station here if they have to do this. Yeah, yeah that's true. These are clearly permanent outfits. Some of these. Yeah, no, I think a lot of this is. I think the outside's a lot more variable. They're making a Defender series on Netflix. I don't know, one superhero from the next. Yeah, what's going on here? These are the kind of babies that Clint Eastwood or what's his name? Should have gotten for, yeah, um, uh, right. for that movie. Sniper, American Sniper. That prop baby Bradley they Cooper. had was so lousy. I think what really gave that baby away in that movie was the dead weight. Yeah, yeah. You, you needed like some sand in it or something. Yeah. Commercial yeah. signage. None of them really convinced me that it's a real store. This is pretty much me on a Friday night. Shitloads of comics. More 5200 games lurking in the winds. This was the Jurassic Park game to get. <laughs> Mortal Kombat like graphics where they rotoscope the dude. There's also that miserable Sega CD one. Vacuums. Beautiful vacuums. Look at that nice Kirby in the back. It's a good vacuum. Quality. Isn't that why Kirby is named Kirby in Nintendo? Is it? I don't know. It makes sense. He sucks. That word? That sounded derogatory, but Kirby is actually awesome. See the ad there for Retron 3? Major difference. 
is that that actually is a console that really will play the game. The Retron 5, you pop in the it cartridge. It reads it out. Right and, and then it presents you a ROM, because it means the game doesn't have to work that well. Always lots of loose GBA. There's a few Sonic GBA games that were pretty good, like Sonic Rush. Now that I have a Retron 5, I, I might pick up someday, but the best Game Boy games are Pokemon, are, are they not? My opinion, yes. Yeah. At this point in my life, I just buy the yearly Pokemon, and that's almost the only game I play. Can you tell me do you have any PS3 uh, remotes, DVD remotes? You don't have something. Yeah, that would be No dice, CJ. Great no prices. Dice on um, Xbox 360 and last gen consoles. One day I'll buy a, a DS Lite for a really cheap price. DS Lite, I think, is one of my second favorite systems. Yeah, I have one of those cards that allows you to play a bunch of emulators on it. So it's kind of like the perfect retro game portable system. I purchased some Pearly Beats Final Fantasy. You yeah, bought the whole set. I couldn't resist. And I got Zelda 2, which we talked about earlier, is one of my personal favorites. He's I'll gonna do a review of it someday. I'm gonna probably, in defense of. Does it see anything else you like? I've been wanting Smash for N64 for a long time. It goes for 50. If we've got a good price today, maybe I'll consider it. Usually 55, I'll do 50 bucks. 50? You guys right. already spent some money, so you get a better deal. I'll think about it. You got it. 50 is what it normally goes for, so 55 is actually a little high. You get the price that everybody else sells it for. A lot of toys. Oodles of toidles. Wow, that's a dense display. The character that's making a comeback only because the design was cool. Yes. Because in a way, the design tells its own story. And that's what people are running with, not the story they actually got with the character. I, I think they would do the same with Darth Vader if yeah. the story sucked. Yeah, this is kind of all perfect for college kids, isn't it? This whole place is, is great for a hipster. Or, but you don't see hipsters walking around. We're the closest things. Yeah. That's kind of concerning. It's good for sad 30-year-olds who... <laughs> what do we have here? Oh, boy. My baby got back too. Will that make it into the video? We'll you, see. You might have to blur that out a little. Oh, it's Darth Vader with a purple clear head. Is Did something, did something happen? Emperor's Wrath. Oh, that, it's, he's getting electrocuted. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 okay, got it, got it, got it. It's stupid, it looks bad. This is like, like very specifically wrestling themed. Wrestling is every form of entertainment in one medium. It's the circus, it's uh, a rock concert, it's comedy, it's drama, it's acrobatics, it's athleticism. It's for kids, it's for adults, it's for... Uh, everything in between. These are the wrestlers that we got coming here. Uh, next week will be Mike and Maria from uh, TNA. We're gonna have demolition. Fruit? We're gonna have, we just had fruit. Photo think... ops, autographs. Do you yeah. guys have a store as well, or do you just? No, have... just here, and we have a booth outside too. Do you do wrestling stuff nope. outside of this, or? I like to keep my body pretty. I don't want to get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Rocky Point Park. It closed many years ago. Yeah. Yeah. That's so cool. This is a 1981. Thank you. Appreciate it, guys. This is back when you could do these compilation posters for the the two trilogies. Now what are we going to do? This is like a Star Wars movie every six months. You can never make a compilation poster again. Root. Done Root. It'll be Root as soon as Rogue One comes out. They're uh, David McCauley books, and they have like amazing illustrations of, uh, of pyramids. There's a castle one here. I actually love this too. The wisteria is so pretty, even though it's fake. Hey look, PC repairs, John. Random thing. John and I used to go to CCRI in Warwick, Rhode Island. Yeah, and we go to the called Kogan Fairs. It was a warehouse of computing. Yeah, the, the company still exists. They still run a couple shows in Connecticut, but nothing on the scale like they used to run. There's some Famicom, which is uh, Japanese and yes. World of Illusion is one of my favorites. It's got great graphics. It's got a uh, Donald and Mickey saying things. That was a big deal back in the day. Alakazam! Alakazam! This is hands down the best flea market I've ever been to. Uh, it's, it's amazing. Knives, guns, and military paraphernalia. Air I had a trashy person. uncle who was who had like a lot of knives. Nice little hardware store, some vanity tops here. Good basic quality vanity for your restaurant or home. So you can take something you like and put your name on it. Yeah. Nobody has everything. So if you're looking for one thing, you're just going to keep looking until you find it. This might be a way to get some elderly people some exercise too. I'm only kind of kidding. You look around long enough, you'll eventually find something you had as a child that you, you thought was gone forever. Nobody gives a crap about the filming. There's no like security. Maybe one guy could take issue. But yeah. you just go, move on. I just want to see how much that stoplight is. I want to know what the market is. 300 bucks. It's actually not that unreasonable. It's about what I expected. Yet another video game store up ahead with, a, with great signage. This is basically a store. Lots of toys. I had that exact Jurassic Park one. Power Rangers for Sega CD. If you're me and you're eight years old and you have a Sega CD, you buy this. But then you learn that all it does is play footage from the episodes and you're supposed to press A when it says press A. He's coming at us! Dragon's Lair was. They sell like Dragon's Lair on like a DVD. You can just use your Razor. DVD room. Just watch the movie. There were laser displays right inside. Custom Lego minifigs. These were in some sort of Happy Meal, I think. They were so disposable. They become valuable quickly. That's a pretty cool looking Power Rangers something or other. That talking Pee Wee Herman doll, everybody had that. My friend had that and I was 
sort of scared of it, but sort of jealous of him for having it. The question is, does, it, does anybody have it in a box anymore? I doubt it. He'd pull the string and... <laughs> I love you! <laughs> Are you embarrassed? Space Jam. If you're gonna make a Space Jam 2, just do it or don't do it. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> More loose wrestling figs? All over the place with the loose wrestling figures, everywhere. Okay, so this is a plasma, EJ. 58 inch, which is pretty good. And it went for 849. Plasmas are the best for color exactly. rendition. The blacks are very rich. It's LED. The mineral chop over here. Ooh. The mineral chop. Sorry to interrupt your plasma TV. No, that's okay. The mineral chop. <laughs> the rocks don't actually come in this color. These are dyed. This one, for example, is a natural one. I didn't know that. I thought the earth was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> nope, sorry, EJ. When I was young, there used to be actually stores that you could go to to buy things like this, like in malls. Well, I couldn't be less interested in this. <laughs> you like wrestling things, I like rocks. Tracy, your pizza's ready. Tracy, your pizza's ready. You hear the, Tracy, your pizza's ready? All at once, everybody in this whole place wondered for a second if they should pretend to be Tracy and pick up that pizza. <laughs> Are you contemplating buying this, EJ? It's just a, a card I mean, piece of stone. It's an obelisk. Can we go with my home decor? How much is it? 25. Uh, every so often I'm checking because I gotta make sure. My rocky point. Keep it secret, keep it safe. A whole VHS thing here. There's a whole VHS collection here. There's Raiders of the Lost Ark on VHS. Does it, uh, is it worth anything? I think it will be soon. You gonna get it? Let's see if he's willing to deal with it. Would you take 20 for the obelisk? Yeah, I could do that. Is he buying rocks? I, yes, I bought it on a nice obelisk. We got rocks at home, Jonathan. <laughs> you negotiated some rocks? Yes. You got them down? Yes. From 25 to 20 dollars. And it's very pretty. I think I'm gonna put it in the bathroom. It'll be a nice decoration. Did it take a lot of work to barter that? No, he was pretty easy. Okay. He may have been sitting there for three years, you know. This is a fascinating item. Star Wars Episode One, 24 page book and CD. Oh Frank my, my junk steam. It's getting a little low. There is so much stuff here. I'm getting stuff blind. Maybe we should just take a quick look at these next couple aisles. And if I see another rock or obelisk. Oh, we have to come back for your foot warmer too. Right. right, we forgot about that. Perhaps one of the coolest toys ever, the Technodrome. I never had it as a kid. I think I had the sewer, maybe? The sewer playset? Super Sunday football, the football machine. Oh, a mirror in the sky. Can the chap? <laughs> Look at John, he's just blowing through Lyles. Oh. I get it, he's tired. He's fresh out of noodles. This is a two day affair, in my opinion. This booth right here, all kinds of cool stuff. Batman 89 cards down there. There's like a thing happening right now. It's a, yeah, hover doodly. Those are those things that everyone's concerned about. Drones? Those, those drones, yeah. That one's probably about $150, $200. If we actually did any filming things, you can do incredible, like, photography. Everybody's doing drone stuff yeah. now. Well, the, the stories I tend to write, they really... They don't need drones. They deserve... They you gotta write more drone-based stories, Frank. <laughs> It reminds, <laughs> cute. it reminds me of uh, that movie, Battery Is Not Included. Remember that? Everything reminds you of that movie. Oh, that's some cool tricks. He is clearly a very skilled drone operator. We're about to enter, you can tell by the construction, the new zone. This is clearly an expansion area. Oh. I think John is currently kind of like delirious. I don't, I, I, I don't think he knows where he's going or what's going on. Look at these cute little cats. Little and they breathe. That's a doggy. That's a cat. I bet my cat would just attack it over and over. You basically get everything you want out of a pet by buying one of those. Uh, we're making our way to Fat Daddy's Smoke Shop. Not really <laughs> my, uh, my product line. There's one thing John and I like. It's Fat Daddy's Smoke Shop. Yep. <laughs> it does sound kind of erotically charged, I had to say. I think this is one of the finest uh, action films ever made. Ugh. There's more stuff. I would buy that for, for a dollar. I don't always drink milk, but when I do, I prefer do dose boobies. Man, what an awesome way to spend yeah, it. Yeah, incredible. So I got the um, the foot warmer, yep. which I'm really excited about. I got a Super Nintendo game, Super Solitaire, which is rare. I got my obelisk, which I'm going to put on display. You might see it in future content. Who knows? And then I got my Rocky Point bumper sticker, which I'm probably not going to stick on anything. I just like to have old stuff like that. But it really wasn't that much money. The most expensive thing was the obelisk at 20. Everything else was four, eight, and the uh, sticker was two. EJ and I got a, a variety of pearl art thingies. He got like five of them, I think, and I got two. And then EJ also got a Pokemon game, uh, mm -hmm. Crystal or Crystal, something? yeah. And that's about it, folks. Yeah. Well, you were right. This is an amazing, amazing place. Would you come back? Oh, yes, definitely. Would you ever actually come here looking for something you needed? Maybe. It would have to be a very specific thing, though. Yeah. Uh, definitely luggage, some very nice luggage. You might be able to get a good electronics deal here. Yeah. If, if you, you had if you needed a looking, monitor or a TV that's or right. a stereo, a Bluetooth sure. stereo or something. You just got to know your prices. And if you're in the area, come by, spend a buck. and uh, Definitely buy. worth the dollar, man. I t I'll tell you. Tell us about your flea markets, yeah. too. We want to know what you got in your area. <laughs> 
So you get a Pyrex dish with a cover, and then you can make a nice hot dish, and then put it in the container and take it somewhere, and it'll stay hot. All right, let's do it. 10 bucks is a great price, no, but. <laughs> this sort of thing always struck me as odd. You know, like a, a feminine uh, deadly animal, or a, a feminine ugly animal, like a frog, like. 